My name is Dan Denisik, and I'm a graduate student in the Masters of Environmental Science program at Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops, BC. My research looks at carbon sequestration in ranch lands, and specifically I'm looking at management intensive grazing and traditional grazing to try and quantify the level of carbon sequestration and see if uh, a certain type of ranching is more effective at sequestering carbon than another. It's a, a really important issue right now um, with climate change mitigation. Well, management intensive grazing is, it usually relies on frequent movement of cattle. The idea is that there's even grazing and it's um, a form of holistic management where you're managing for healthy plants, soil, and animals. Locally, it's very important to improve the economic sustainability of ranching. Um, recently, it's it's kind of been on an economic decline. So hopefully if we can quantify carbon sequestration, we can um, work on a carbon crediting program where ranchers can actually receive economic benefits if it's shown that they are sequestering more carbon. There is some controversy as to whether management intensive grazing improves the health of the land or not. Some people firmly believe that it does and others say that there's no scientific evidence to prove that. So a big part of my research is to um, try and provide that evidence as to whether it does or doesn't. And I'll do that by comparing, comparing it with traditional grazing practices. My name is Heather Richardson. I'm a graduate student in the Masters of Environmental Science program at Thompson Rivers University. So my research is looking at soil carbon sequestration in BC's grasslands. So I'm trying to map and model soil carbon over the province in the grasslands. Soil carbon sequestration is the soil carbon that's pulled out of the atmosphere and then stored in the ground. So this is really important and has huge implications towards climate change. So it's comparing soil carbon and vegetation, which is one of the largest factors that impact soil carbon um, in ex site exposures. So while Dan's project has kind of been more a case study and looking at different types of um, ranching, mine is just more general grazed versus ungrazed and over a, a larger um, spatial scale. Dan and I are both kind of two parts of one larger project. Where our projects are similar is they have the same goal of trying to understand the impact of grazing on the grasslands. Ultimately the goal is to determine what type of um, ranching practices optimize soil carbon sequestration and potentially improve economic sustainability by getting benefits from carbon trading um, and then there's also the environmental benefits. If those, um, if those can improve the productivity of the land, then it's another incentive for ranchers.